looking chica the sun is finally out in LA and you can tell I have sunglasses marks mm. okay we're just gonna ignore the sunglasses timeline and I'm gonna show you guys my morning skincare oh my gosh my eyes so itchy so most of my routine is like road to be honest um I start with the glazing milk oh hello I this is like a product that I now like don't know what I did before this like this just is one of a kind like I don't really know what else is like this in the way it just like is so thin but just like hydrates my face like you know sometimes when you don't want to put like skincare on I don't know if anyone ever feels like that you just want to like your skin to be free. Follow up with the Rode BRC. Make sure our barriers are nice and restored because mine is bent. Um, please look after your skin, guys. Don't burn it like I do. Thing is, my theory is my burn just turns to tan, so like, I'm not really bent, even though I am. You know? Okay, then I like to use Alamis Pro Collagen Eye Creams. Heaven. This is a fave. Oh, my hands are so slippery that I can't quite get into this. I've also been really enjoying putting this on my body. This is a quarterly like glow oil and I just love the smell of this and I don't know, I kind of prefer, prefer using oils to moisturizers. For deodorants, I've been using these ones from Saltair or Salt Air. Is it like Saltair or Salt Air? Probably Salt Air. This is in the smell Santal Bloom and i like to use these these are like a serum so they don't have any color i always always get white deodorant on my clothes and i don't like that i really don't so by the way i am putting on a lot of deodorant but i am quite a sweaty girl so mark jacobs sent me these these perfumes they sent me two i was like okay thank you is this like the little things inside look like stalks anyway and this has been my kind of daytime perfume of choice. So fresh, so clean, obsessed with it. And how pretty does this look like on your dressing table, bathroom, whatever. Okay, all my laundry pots need a restock. How cute are these? I literally just got them off Amazon and they have like the name and then you just like fill them up with your stuff. Cause I feel like cleaning boxes look really bad. So we can refill these. I don't actually have any more of this like stain remover so I need to order some more of that and then I do have some scent things but this also seems pretty empty. <laughs> the 
yeah, that didn't really make much difference. Softener, still like a fair amount of this one left, I think. Kind of restocked, I mean, not at all, but a little, just a little bit. These sweats are Alwood, new Alwood in this new shade of pink, which I think is just the most perfect pink and I'm absolutely obsessed. I also just need to share my toaster and kettle with you guys because I just think they are the cutest things I've ever seen. Like that right there makes me want to cry. It's just so cute. Ooh, and also, um, it's a little messy around here, sorry. Um, my knives, like, I just think these knives are so cute too. Like, really loving it. And Glossier gave me a little pepper shaker. Adorable. Something that's pretty crazy is you can literally see the Hollywood sign from our living room. And I literally see this every morning. I just feel, like, so, like, grateful and blessed that I live in this place. Like, it actually makes me want to cry a little bit. How is this real? Yeah. Pretend that didn't happen. That really ruined my aesthetically pleasing clips there. Rid of the people that I feel are real good at wasting my so other things can blow. Is anybody else obsessed with Casey Musgraves new album? It's literally all I've listened to for the past, I don't know, two weeks, however long it's been with us. Okay, I'm gonna get out these seeds. Okay, never mind. If I eat a seed, all will be okay. If you know, you know. I saw a girl on TikTok, she tagged me saying that she'd been trying this out. So shout out to you. I've been eating these little yummy things every morning. Daily digestive gummies, which apparently de-bloat you. They just taste really good though. Okay, this is what just, oh, does anybody else always do this to their scissors? Um, this is what just arrived at my door. You would have heard when the doorbell rang, so we can open it up together. Oh! <laughs> what? Wait, let me show you. Thank you, Prime. <laughs> Never had stuff from here before. Um, so, I'll see. I'll let you guys know my thoughts on this. <laughs> Random. Day. Pardon me. I feel like I've had like a few life changes recently that I wanted to update you guys on. I haven't like vlogged in a while. Um, I got really sick. I don't know if I mentioned this in a video. I got really sick probably like a month ago now and I was really sick for like two weeks. Um, I had like a really, really bad stomach flu. Um, I had to get put on a drip and I was just so weak. It was probably the ill, the illest I've ever been in my whole life, not to be dramatic, but it was truly like two weeks of hell and kind of took me a little while to get like back into the swing of things and like with filming and everything, I just felt a little behind and I had like a lot of like work brand deals I had to catch up on and then a lot of work for Dairy Boy that I had to catch up on. Um, I've briefly touched on my work at Dairy Boy, but I am now head of marketing there, so it's quite a big role and it's been so incredibly amazing to like use more of my creative side um, in more of like a brand way. As I obviously use my creative side a lot in like my own brand, but it's been like the brand of Eva, but it's been really, really cool to be involved in like a a bigger picture brand and like being able to put my ideas forward and 
art is like such a huge part of my life. My whole family are artists and I did art at school and it's just like, it's a huge thing for me. So being able to do this has been such a cool journey, but I definitely want to show you guys more of that side of my life too. So I'll definitely bring you into the office and like shoots and all sorts of things like that because it's really, really fun and exciting and I just definitely want to share that side of my life with you. I was just doing some dairy boy work this morning for something very exciting that's coming up that I can't share just yet, but follow dairy boy socials because it's coming very soon. And yeah, my sister was just here for 10 days, which was incredible. It's so nice to see her. I haven't seen her since Christmas. I really wanted to vlog while she was here, but we ended up just having like a really chill, special like sister time and it wasn't really like the vibe to be vlogging. But I definitely want to make a video with my sister soon. So next time I see her, I'm gonna do that. We were thinking maybe like I should do her makeup for a video or something, could be cute. Cause I actually did her makeup a couple times while she was here, so yeah. But if you're watching this, love you Zoe, miss you. Um, it was so sad, like she was staying in our guest room and I went and looked in there and like, it was just all like tidy how she left it and she just wasn't there anymore and it just kind of gave me this little like sad feeling. Um, it's actually making me tear up even saying that. God, I'm so pathetic. But yeah, it was really special having her here and I wish I had vlogged some of it, but anyway. Obviously we moved, welcome. So we're now in a new place. So that was also kind of crazy. Like I feel like moving house is just pretty hectic. So feeling a lot more settled and I'm just so happy here, Justin so happy here. It's been like a dream so far and yeah, welcome to the new place. It's kind of echoey in here because we do not have a lot of furniture yet. Our sofa's arriving next week, which I am extremely excited about. I feel like the sofa's gonna change everything because we don't have like a communal place to sit right now. Like people have been visiting and we have to like go eat dinner downstairs in the building, so really excited for the furniture to start arriving. I also just wanted to say like hi because I feel like my following on here has grown like so much quicker than I thought and it's been like so cool and exciting for me and if you only follow me on here like hi, welcome, thank you so much for subscribing to me. I really appreciate you guys on here and yeah I just feel really grateful every time someone subscribes to my YouTube because it's like you actually want to sit and listen to me talk and <laughs> see my life which is really cool um but yeah i'm gonna get back to my weekly vlogs for you guys now that i'm fully recovered and back in the swing of everything and yeah i love you all so much thank you so much for watching today's video i know it was kind of a short random video but i just wanted a little catch up with you all and yeah have an amazing rest of your week